In my last video, we saw how to make this curious wooden cube within a cube, and now I will make a more complicated one. I am going to make a right prism within another. We already know this wooden strip from the previous video. It has a square cross-section of 70 millimeters. I have to calculate the centers for drilling. I start by drawing the bisectors at one end. Since they are right angles, I draw lines at 45 degrees. And I check that this point is exactly at 35 millimeters, half the width of the strip. Now with the 50 millimeter Forstner drill bit, I place it on that point. And with those kind of spurs that it has, I mark on the lines. And I join the points with a line. Now, I draw a line along the center of that face. I need to measure this distance. It is about 18 millimeters. The next center should be at twice that distance. So, at about 36 millimeters. And the next center must be also 36 millimeters away. To make sure that the inner prism won't come out, better a bit more than a bit less. Okay, I already draw the three centers. And now, to cut the strip, I need this distance. It will be the same as this one. It is 35 millimeters. So, I'm going to cut here with the miter saw. But we won't see how I cut it. Well, I have changed my initial plan to make this. And I drew one more center. So... From here to here, I erased the 35 millimeter mark and made another one at 36 millimeters. And I cut the workpiece at 35 millimeters from that mark. Now I also mark this side of the bisectors. These marks will help me adjust the depth stop in the drill press. I almost forgot to mark the center of these squares. And this is not necessary. But this way, I'll see that as I rotate the piece, I'm drilling at the correct distance. On the drill press, I adjust the depth stop a little above the marks I made on the lines. And here, I have my makeshift wooden drill press table clamped. I have clamped a fence, and I also clamped a stop lock. This time, I clamped the vertical workpiece. I made sure the workpiece is perfectly vertical. The workpiece was leaning a bit backward. No problem. I could shim it a bit at the back to make it perfectly vertical. And finally now, let's see how the drill press performs. And it seems to be doing great. Here, I already rotated the piece. And it's well vertical. Making this project, I had to vacuum up shavings a lot of times. But most of those shots didn't make it into the video. Okay, I'm going to drill the four holes on each of the four long faces of the prism. In total, another 16 drills. First, as always, I adjust the depth stop. And here I can make sure that the holes will be a bit above, where the diagonals intersect the holes I already drilled. Well, I can start drilling the faces of the workpiece.
This is already looking like something. Here, I already changed the position of the stop block. Notice that I have the center to drill right there. Here, you can already see what we are going to get. and this is almost ready to release the inner piece. But I think that the two pieces are still quite linked together. So I'm going to dare to lower the Forstner drill bit one more millimeter. And I think it won't be necessary to drill again at the ends of the prism. We will see this quickly. When we have to readjust the stop block, it is better to fit the drill bit into the hole first. And now, yes, I can release the inner piece. Here it is already loose. Now, with the kitchen saw knife, flat against the face of the inner prism, I am going to cut on both sides of the joint, carefully, little by little, and without forcing it. When that's done, I have to cut this peak at about 45 degrees. That way I maintain the straight shape of the edge of the inner prism. I almost have this edge completely free, but I still need to free the verticas at the ends of the prism. But first I do all the edges, and finally I free the verticas. The vertices are a bit more complicated, but basically they're done the same way.
There we can see that I was able to keep the shape of the vertex perfect. When the inner piece is free, it's time to sand everything. With the inner prism at an angle, I sand its faces. I have to be careful not to hit my fingers. I sand all these corners well to remove the knife marks, and I try to make them all equal. I sand all the curves, and I go over everything with fine sandpaper. And here I have this right wooden prism within another. I think that it even looks more interesting than the cube within a wood cube that I made in the previous video. Thanks for watching the video, and if you like my videos, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell.